Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Aries and Aries Moon and Aries Rising monthly tarot reading for November 2018. So uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that this is going to be a general reading for Aries star sign and it's not going to be your personal reading. Therefore, uh, I will explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Uh, if you want me to do that for you, well, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And uh, one more thing, uh, there will be also um, extended monthly tarot readings in case you do like these reports. And uh, at the extended monthly tarot reading, uh, we are going to specifically focus on uh, the career and the relationship that this, um, that the representative star sign is to go through in that specific month, in this case, November. And these uh, extended monthly tarot readings can be purchased for just $1.49 uh, from, uh, from my website again and you can find the link down below in the description of this video as well so uh, let's go to the spread now what we do have is a five card spread now the first card is going to be about the topic of your Aries this month and the card that we do have this is going to be the tree of wands so tree of wands is a card of growth all the all the ones are card, cards of growth, but uh, the differences is in between them is how is in between them is how exactly the growth is going to happen. So in that case, uh, the three of wands points that you have to aim for something higher throughout the month, or you will have the possibility to aim for something higher, for a higher purpose, for better relationship, for better job as well, because the three of wands is about uh, placing oneself challenges all right because you are probably at one place right now and there won't be much of an advance if you keep on the same uh, performance as you are keeping it at this very moment therefore you have to look for a way how you can improve your performance and to exert it incorporate it into your daily routine either your career or either your relationship why it is because the three of wands points that everything is going to be in synergy in between your emotions and what is happening around you in between uh, your efforts and what is happening around you therefore the, the bigger efforts the bigger rewards at the end that's why the three of wands uh, symbolizes that the ship came to your harbor but that doesn't mean that the ship is going to sail with you so you what you have to do here is really uh, push yourself to the outer limits so you can find that these outer limits you thought you had are kind of very um, under underestimated all right so you can even uh, expand those limitations that you have placed for yourself out there and uh, many of you Aries are going to realize that they can be much more either productive or they can aim, they can aim for better positions at uh, at career for better relationship or for better status at one relationship as well very important here because the tree of wands as I said this card symbolizes a door openings here and there everywhere but uh, apart from the wheel of fortune they will not be offered to you on a plate i mean you have to work for them that's why this month it is a, a month of dynamic you have to be the dynamic one of course if you sit on your butt well not much is going to be accomplished here that's why guys your areas have to roll up your sleeves and start working capitalizing on these uh, on these opportunities given to you the next card here it is pointing for the best course of action and what we do have this is going to be the high priestess so the best course of action for you is going to be um, how can I place it is going to be uh, that you have to take on those uh, enterprises on your own this is what the high priestess points also the high priestess is a sign that what is meant for you to happen is to happen um, and uh, that may sound a little bit um, premature and kind of heavy you know like it is carved in stones and this is not what I mean let me tell you uh, so uh, uh, 
let me give you an example here a, a job that it is meant for you to work is going to be presented to you but again it is up to you here to uh, apply for it to pass the exam for it and to be assigned for it so to accept the offer if you skip it probably it's going to be presented to you in another in, in another cycle of your life you know maybe in a couple of months or maybe in a couple of years but why you have to wait that long and don't take it and you shouldn't take it right now that is only you that you can answer uh, to me um, this particular uh, this particular reading leads to that this will be your month here to seize um, to see is basically the right path for you. Now the high priestess also points to seclusion and to listen to your inner voice and in that specific follow-up it, it speaks that you should not kind of uh, um, guide yourself with uh, from the foreign opinions. I mean you should follow your, only your own opinion, only your own ideas, uh, only your own um, instincts, intuition if you want to say that way, but in that specific case only your own desires. It doesn't matter what your parents want for you, it doesn't matter what your partner in relationship wants for you, it doesn't matter what your boss wants for you, what matters is what you want for yourself and here in this month of November it is what you are going to have the opportunity to push forward, so don't waste it. The next card it is uh, representing the challenges which are causing predicaments and and uh, we do have the Ace of Swords, fantastic follow-up. And as I said, you should not allow to be swirled from your path from other people. This card here expresses disturbances into one's communication and small predicaments caused by uh, mostly co-workers. This is mostly about. Uh, this is mostly a career. Um, career interpretation where some of your co-workers unintentionally are making small predicaments for you and basically they are wasting your time. So this, this could be um, <clears throat> very well resolved if you are to lead a open and honest conversations with those people which are causing you predicaments. But when it comes to a, a disturbances in communication, that means that you will be hardly understood. I mean, no matter how much you try to explain yourself to your boss or to your husband or wife or to your boyfriend or a girlfriend into a intimate relationship, they will have a hard time to understand you. As a matter of fact, they, they will be completely unable to understand you. It is because what comes from your mouth comes from your inner wisdom. And every inner wisdom is, um, is unique. You cannot uh, basically succumb other people to, to watch to what you know that it is best for you. I mean, they always think what it is, they always think what is best for you or for them according to their standards and their criteria. But you do have your own standards and your own criteria. And that's why in this specific moment, uh, you may expect that you aren't going to face any understanding, you know, as I already counted, both colleagues, um, friends and family, etc., etc. The next card here, it is about the resources that you can rely on and that is going to be the hangman. So this is the slow motion and it is the um, obtaining of a different perspective upon the situation. It is kind of like a, just for example, seeing that a specific undertaking isn't as hard as you think you are and that has a, a big correlation here with uh, um, the high priestess. It's speaking that you are to understand how it so little efforts to make so much things to make so such a big an improvement here by uh, adopting that different perspective and um, this also contributes to being an, uh, to to that all the others will have a hard time understanding you irises that's why it's very important to put into play one of your biggest um one of your biggest qualities here being tenacious and in many cases being unyielding not stubborn but unyielding additionally the hangman points i uh, hear that uh, the, the 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 predicaments especially career wise if we're looking at that card are going to resolve themselves should you not attend to them they are going to as well resolve themselves on their own accord even more this card points that you can very well capitalize on the delays that are happening in the company that you're working at 
in the in the relationship that you are in in the friendships that you are in as well just 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 to give you an example here let's say that you want your partner to decide on something and your partner is stalling that decision as much as your partner can and you can capitalize on that stall of the decision taking by doing something what well that will be um, different for every single one of you guys i don't know your situation here but you can definitely utilize and uh, do additional things throughout the time frame of this um of this moment of the of the situation the hangman is a, a very peculiar card and it is um it is a it, it is caused delays but these delays has its ultimate purpose and the ultimate purpose is that one gets to know better what the soul requires and that's why you are to capitalize a lot on those uh, delays and at the end we do have the final outcome here and that is a fantastic final outcome for you guys we do have the ace of wands which is literally the new beginning here a, a new enterprise is creative chaos if you want to say it that way or in your case this is going to be an unexpected breakthrough which is giving you exactly what you need in order to put your life back in stir because uh, the ace of wands uh, it's um, I have read in one of the books how um, you know a, a ancient author should I say that way explains the card and he says that this card is like one being um, uh, one being wobbling in a in a labyrinth, all right. One is searching for a way out, and uh, when one becomes desperate, without any food and without any water, just on a bring on, or just on a bridge of survival, or the bring of survival, one is miraculously finding the right way out. So it's kind of like a uh, a point of salvation. It is a, a point of breakthrough which you least expected. All right, unexpected, sudden, a very profitable, very lucrative, depending on your uh, situation, or um, f or uh, f filled with uh, with huge portion of love breakthrough. So throughout this month, Aries says it is uh, as I said, it is time for you guys to really uh, don't slack and and push forward with your dreams. I'm saying with your dreams, not with the dreams of your boss or the dreams of your husband or a wife or the dreams of your. Um, of your friends but with your dreams and no matter what you have been told here how pointless your dreams are you know how futile they could turn out just don't mind that guys it's just if you feel and if you know that this is something you want and this is something you are going to enjoy this is something that is going to give you so much glee uh, out there it is definitely something worth exploring and pushing forward so that's why this is a reading here as a, a warning that at the end of the day uh, what I like to say here is that if you don't take care for your own happiness no one else will and that is the reminder. So that being said Aries, this was your monthly tarot reading for November 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and again this was a, a general reading for Aries the star sign and it was not your personal reading guys. Therefore I have explained um, the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls, it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you, well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And don't forget that if you like that report and you want to know even more about your month, about the month of your star sign, uh, you can purchase the extended monthly star reading for just $1.49 and in it you, the, we are to make two spreads one for career and one for relationship specifically so uh that being said rat signing out now see you next time bye